Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Georgia. So as you could tell from the title, we have some interesting news regarding the Real Housewives of Potomac Season 8. It seems like they are really shaking things up over there. They have been listening to us, the audience, letting them know that we feel that Giselle is favored and protected and she could do no wrong and get away with it season to season. Yes, we agree that she gets things started. She gets conversations going and steps back. She gets some um, people into arguments and step back. And if you have been watching the show like me for the last seven seasons, then you know the seating chart for the reunion is uh, usually Andy, of course, in the middle. Then we usually have Giselle on one side of him. And then we have Karen on the other side. And then the seating chart flows out depending on who's on the show for the season. But girl, apparently for season eight, we have Giselle moved. And in first seat next to Andy, we have Karen, the Grand Dame, of course. And on the other side of Andy, we have Mia. And I must say, I'm not hating on it at all. Because when Mia came on the scene, the first season when she sat at that table and told the ladies everything that she had done, she opened about her life. She let us know what was going on. Even then when they tried to shade her saying that she was a gold digger, she never, never came confrontational. She just let them talk or she would agree with them or she would even add more to it. But yes, we found that Mia was refreshing and open. She wasn't hiding anything and it's apparently paying off. So yes, now we're seeing it. So the way the seating chart is now, so you're probably wondering, where is Giselle sitting? If she's not next to Andy, where is she? So like I told you, the Grand Dame, Karen, is on one side of Andy. And then we have Giselle sitting next to Karen in the second seat. And if you watch reality TV, you know this is an important thing. Because when we see that happening, it's telling us, the audience, and the cast member that, look, you didn't bring it this season. You didn't bring it. You didn't do what you were supposed to. You didn't try to um, to make the season better. Because if you guys don't know, right now we have a situation going on with, with um, Giselle and Candace. And Giselle is refusing to talk to Candace. I mean... I'm seeing Candace trying to bend a little bit, but Giselle is like, no. So it's so it's interesting that right across from Giselle on the other side of Andy next to Mia, we have Candace. So they're like face to face. So, wow, this should be really interesting for the reunion. And I'm sure that Giselle have some things to think about. One thing you ever notice with Giselle also, because it's um the Real Housewives of Potomac, Real Housewives of Atlanta, whatever, whatever. And Giselle usually comes on and she will be in a relationship for the first three episodes. And after that, we don't see or hear about the person. So I'm like, what is really going on here? She's just trying to bait us to hang on for um, a couple of episodes. And then she goes back to the same old Giselle. But yes, guys, I just wanted to let you know that Giselle is not in the first chair anymore. I don't know if she's going to get it back. She needs to find a way to get it back because Mia is going to hang on to that. We all know that Mia right now is in the process of divorcing Gordon and she's also dating someone new. So we don't know if this person is going to be a part of season nine. We don't know how we're going to follow her story going forward. But I'm sure that Mia is going to try and hang on to that first seat. And this is also a, a, a lesson to the other ladies because Karen might be losing hers in season nine. If she don't bring it, you know, she doesn't want to bring her life forward. She's taking us all over the place, but she's not letting us know what is going on with her and Ray. So, you know what? And they're trying to insinuate and imply that Karen is out there doing something and we're not hearing about it. So she's taking us all the way around the world, taking us to Surrey to go have us do all that and all that. But she's not focusing 
on her relationship so it is an interesting tidbit i just wanted to bring it all to you guys to let you know what is going on behind the scenes so make sure that you go ahead and like this video subscribe to the channel thumbs up this video and if you're interested in reality tv reviews entertainment news celebrity gossip celebrity news make sure that you subscribe to this channel thanks again for watching and i hope you're going to be watching the reunion along with me thanks again for watching until next time be sure to take care of yourselves and your families bye bye